Welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Eric. I'll be taking you through this topic, common solids. And for this particular lesson, we're going to cover introduction to common solids. So I want to see what common solids are and the different types of common solids that we have. And uh, we have a few questions on the same to help us uh, with illustrations on uh, highlighting the differences between the, the respective common solids that we have, you know. Of course, at the end of the lesson, you'll be having some few questions in the form of assignment just to help you practice and to help you check on your understanding of the concept as we are going to discuss during this lesson. So what is a solid? And when you talk about a solid, you know, a solid is an object which occupies space and has a definite fixed shape. So we have regular, solids, and irregular. When you talk about uh, regular, we mean... Uh, so when you talk about regular, we mean you will be able to tell them by name. You'll be able to tell this is a cube, that's a cuboid, that is a cylinder, and so on and so forth. You can identify them with, you know, they are identifiable with some non solids you know irregular you'll not be able to tell what what shape it is so you you want to be able to tell what shape it is so we have a definition of terms that are used when it comes to someone's common solids so these common solids they they have certain sections which are named different for example within the context of common solids when we talk about faces we mean the flat surfaces of you know the flat surfaces that you can see talk about faces the flat surfaces of the object like uh, you know the, these flat surfaces normally have certain shapes like the, the the flat surfaces could be rectangular in shape so we say the polygon that forms one side of a solid you know so it could be triangular okay it could be trapezium then we also have vertex so when we have two faces intersecting at a point where the two faces uh two faces meet we normally call it the the edge and then now where the edges meet or could be one or two i mean uh, two or, or or more edges intersecting at a point that's the part that we're now calling a vertex so a vertex is a point where edges meet in a three-dimensional object okay now where faces meet we call it edge so an edge is a line segment where two faces meet okay so you can see we have a face up here and we have this face where they meet here this is what we're calling an edge. So we have that edge and this edge and this edge meeting at this point. You call it the vertex. So this is the vertex. If there are many, like we have this vertex here, we have that vertex, we have that vertex. So we have many vertices. You should be able to count them. So we have one vertex, two vertices, three vertices, four vert vertices, five, six, seven, and there is another one here, eight eight vertices you know so if there are many we call them vertices so in an exam possibly you can be asked to state the number of vertices that a cube has a cube has you see so it's just a matter of counting them so all solids have surfaces some have faces edges and vertices such solids are called uh, polyhedra that is if there are many if one is called a polyhedron so we have different types of solids like a cube. So these have these these the, the, the different uh, solids they have different different characteristics. For example, when you talk about a cube, say it's a, a three-dimensional geometrical shape that has six square faces. Okay, twelve straight edges and eight vertices. So one. We can give you the solid like this, and then we ask like the one we have, and then we ask you about 
the characteristics, you know, how many edges, how many faces, how many vertices. So like in this case, faces. So we start with the, the flat surfaces. So faces are how many? Six. Then where faces meet, we call it edges. So we have edges. So edges are how many? Well, if we just count them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Mm -hmm. Then 11 and then 12. So just a matter of counting the edges where the faces meet, we call them edges. Now where edges meet, we call them vertices. So how many vertices? So vertices are how many? They are eight. So either we'll give you the characteristics and then we ask you to name the common solid or we can name the common solid and then we ask you to to give these characteristics. Faces, edges and vertices. Edges meet between, I mean, faces they meet at an edge and edges they meet at a vertex. So one of the common solids is called a cube. So if you're able to see a solid and then you call it a cube, then that qualifies it to be a regular solid. That's why now we talk of regular and irregular. So if you're not able to tell what type of shape it is, then most likely it's an irregular one. This is now a cuboid. So again, it has faces. It has the flat surfaces. So how many faces? Six. So there is this one here. There is one on this other side. There is the base. There is this. Uh -huh. The top part. So if you count all of them, the base, and then there is. Okay. So there are six. So where faces meet, we call it an edge. So edges, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then twelve. So twelve edges. And then where edges meet, we call we call them. Vertices. So vertices are how many? So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight vertices. Just like the cube, the cube would also share the other the similar characteristics when it comes to faces, edges, and vertices. Except that now for the cube. All the sides were equal, but now for the cuboid, not all sides are the same. So there is a cylinder with the two flat surfaces, like this one here and the other one. Okay. So this is what you call a cylinder. It assumes a uniform cross section. Yeah, this circular cross section is uniform all through, you know. Uniform cross section. This is what you call a cylinder. It's a three-dimensional geometrical shape characterized by two parallel circular bases of equal size. We have a cone. So it has a circular base and a single vertex. So this is called the apex. So this is the base, so a cone would be drawn this way. So the base here is circular, this is what you call the base. And then you have a vertex up there. 
one single vertex. It has only one vertex. We have a sphere, also a three-dimensional geometrical shape that is perfectly round and symmetrical. When we say symmetrical, you are able to you are able to draw or, or, or get a plane that can divide it into two equal parts, two equal and similar parts. So this could be a plane that can subdivide this sphere into two equal and similar parts. So this plane here will be called a uh, plane of symmetry. What makes an object symmetrical is when you are able to divide it into two equal and similar parts, where the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal in size and in shape. So that's what you mean by symmetrical. Okay. We have something called tetrahedron. Also a three-dimensional geometrical shape with four triangular faces. So we have this face, we have this face, and we have the other face, and we have the base. So four uh, triangular faces. So again, it has faces. Four. Where faces meet, we call them edges. If it's one, we call it an edge. So edges are how many? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. And where edges meet, we call them vertices or a vertex if it is one. So you can see we have one vertex, second vertex, the third vertex, and the fourth vertex. So how many vertices? Four. And so that is all. We have a few questions to help you practice on what you've been learning. So how many faces, edges, and vertices does a cuboid, a triangular prism, and a cone have in each case? Name some common solids that have no vertices, you know. Yes, so you should be able to check what you have learned through the lesson to help you answer some of these questions. Otherwise, that marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.